4,000 active and retired lieutenants of the NYPD. Today I'm joined by President of the New York City PBA, Pat Lynch. I'm also joined by the New York City Detectives Endowment Association, President Mike Paladino. I'm joined by the President of the Sergeant Benevolent Association, Ed Mullins. I'm also joined today by the Vice President of the CEA, Chris Monaghan. We're here today to collectively endorse retired New York City Captain Joe Cannon who is running for District Council seat 23. He's running against Mark Weprin, who has uh, endorsed this Public uh, Community Safety Act, which we believe should be named the Community, Community Engagement Act. This bill is going to put the general public and our members in harm's way. Standing behind me is well over 100 years of law enforcement uh, background, and everyone here feels that this bill is going to put us in harm's way and members and city residents in harm's way. The council who voted on this bill have zero law enforcement experience. So who do you think knows better how to serve the public and protect the public? I think we do. I'd like to call up now Pat Lynch from the New York City Police uh, PTA. Thanks, Luke. We're here today to endorse Joe Concannon for city council. He understands policing. He understands safety. And if you understand that aspect of living in this city, all else follows. Economic issues follows the safety issue. When this city council tries to handcuff the police department with these ill-advised bills that will hurt every New York City police officer that our members, but the public, because it hampers us from doing the job, we cannot allow that to happen. We're here today to support Joe as the candidate in the city council because he not only understands the law enforcement issues, but a broad spectrum of issues. City residents happens to be in my personal district as well. That's important because he'll be supporting not only my members, but my family as well. So the New York City PBA enthusiastically endorses Joe's candidate. Thank you. Next to speak, I'm gonna invite uh, Mike Paladino, president of the DEA. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I concur with everything that Pat Lynch just said. 17,000 active and retired New York City detectives support Joe's candidacy 100%. The question that I have from Councilman Mark Weber, and it should be a question that the press asks him as well, is why does Weber lie? He misled Detectives Endowment Association, we went through an um, a, a, a endorsement interview process. We asked him specifically his position on the bias-based profiling bill, and he told us that he would not support it. He would vote against it. And instead, he voted for the bill. So he misled us. He gained our endorsement on the false pretenses, and that is why I revoked it. When we've asked him why he changed his vote and he lied to us, his position is he's more concerned about bettering his political career than he is for his constituents. So my question once again to Councilman Weprin, why does Weprin lie? I'd like to invite Chris Mayan, Vice President of the CEA up. Good afternoon, Chris Mayan, Vice President. Association. A few months ago, we had endorsed uh, Mark Weprin on the same principles as Michael, Michael uh, Paladino spoke about. Um, he promised to keep our family safe, our police officers safe, and he would vote not for the racial profiling bill. He since voted, backtracked, and we went back to our board of officers and since the next big X on his endorsement letter, sent it to him and have revoked it. It's time to get reform into the city council, but we're in Boston, Joe Concannon. He is a former police officer, lives in the city, knows the dangers of police work, knows the dangers if we go back, the city
city of the 1990s, what this economy will look like, what this city will look like. So Joe, just counting on you. Thank you. With you. Thank you. Now let's hear from the candidate. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Joe Buchanan, and I'm running for New York City Council, District 23 in East St. Queens. It gives me great pleasure and honor to be surrounded by my colleagues and former peers of NYPD. Each and every law enforcement agency in the city and its personnel are behind me. We intend to take it to Mark Weprin and ask Mark this. Why not? Why not, Mark, are you putting the safety and the security of every single member of New York City at risk? Why would you do this? Everything, every responsibility that a, a potential candidate for public office or an elected uh, official seeking re-election needs to bring into focus is the safety and the security of each and every citizen of the city of New York. Why he would throw that away, why he would betray his constituents in the 23rd District, Floral Park, New Hyde Park, <coughs> Bellrose, Queens Village, Hollis, Hollisswood, uh, Oakland Gardens, Glen Oaks, New York, Bayside, why would he do that? We have no idea. I'm asking you in November to line up with me on the Reform Party. It'll be all the way over the right on the ticket and vote for Joe Kincannon for City Council. I can assure you that I will never risk the safety and the security of one New York City citizen at any time at all, no matter who comes to my desk and no matter who tries to pander to get into higher elected office. That's where I stand. Now, I want to say this, and I'll back up to what Pat Lynch was saying. The safety and the security of the city of New York, and I know this because I worked in the Giuliani administration, as well as as a police officer down the hawk, the dark hallways and alleys of every city, New York borough. I'll tell you this, the safety and security of this city is tied inexorably to the vitality of the economy of the city of New York. That's why we have a wonderful city. That's why we call it home. We are going to march this campaign, and the center issue, obviously, is going to be CSA, the Community Safety Act, and intro 1079 and 1080, all right? We don't believe the city needs to be bloated anymore, the larger size than it is. I think the city of New York has only a, only a dozen oversight agencies which are looking at the NYPD. I don't know if we make it 13, 14, 15, 16 more, whether or not that's going to make any sense here in the city of New York. Why? Also, Mark so Mark Weprin become, can become the Speaker of the City Council and appoint his friend Jim Gennaro, all right, as the police monitor in, in DOI. Look, the New York City Police Department's a paramilitary unit. They are very well structured and there is oversight beyond any, anyone's mention. CCRB, the two S units, U.S. Attorney's Office, the five District Attorney's Office, and then internally they have their own mechanism. All right, you need to trust. And one campaign issue and slogan that we're gonna put out on every banner and every placket and on every website, we're gonna emblazon one thought for the citizens of New York. Support your local police. All right, thank you everyone. And I just wanna say, if you're up on Facebook, look at me at Joe Concannon, City Council. And if you can make a donation of $10 or more, we certainly would appreciate it. Thank you. I've been speaking to Mayor Bloomberg for a, a number of years since I've been seeking political office. Uh, the Bloomberg administration and my campaign are lockstep so far as this issue is concerned. Uh, these fine gentlemen have come out here today and taken valuable time away from work to endorse me, and I think that's where I'm going to keep the focus today. I've talked to a lot of people all over the district and all over the city. People are really annoyed. And then I have a question for Pat Lynch. Um, unrelated to this race, but I think a lot of people are also waiting for you to weigh in on the mayor's race, uh, wondering when, if, how, where, et cetera, that might happen. We'll, we'll continue to go through that process, and we'll announce that endorsement when we make the endorsement for mayor. Today, we're here to endorse for the city council. Do you think it'll be before the primary? We'll, you'll be the first one we're going to call. We'll absolutely put that out, and we we'll want your help in getting the word out for our candidate. Any other questions? All right, folks. Thank you.